Lord has said in the beginning, everything is free, except that apple at least is sinning, so let that apple be. Good morning, you join me on my route to work uh, with my uh, breakfast of choice inspired by Genesis 3 which is the focus of chapter 5 of this book by Alistair Chalmers' Roadmap to Jesus which we're going through which is why I'm driving and so this chapter looks at judgment and um, it tackles this issue that people seem to think that judgment of God is a bad thing. Like God being a judge is some kind of bad thing. And I mean, if God is about judgment and about justice, then good. Because we all know after the fall, Christian or not, that the world is not how it's supposed to be. Life is hard, bad things happen, things go wrong, people do wrong. But we don't need to get our own back and we don't need to take revenge because that he, not me, not you, not we, but he will judge the wrong things. In Ecclesiastes 12, 14, it says, He will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether good or evil. He will deal with the wrong things. He will deal with sin. He's, he's already dealt with sin. And so actually, I take the opposite view I feel, I feel relieved that God is in charge. That Isaiah 30, 18, it says that he is a God of judgment and a God of justice. He's got the whole world in his hands. Well, here I am on my lunch break and I'm fully aware there is a serpent behind me. The judgment of God fell on the serpent, fell on Satan. And Genesis 3.14 says, you will crawl on your belly, bow down on your belly all of your days and you will eat dust the same dust that God used to create life. God of judgment and justice. Satan tried to get them to eat, so now he has to eat from the dust all the days and bow down all the days of his life. So, after all that talk about Satan, serpents, judgment, I, uh, I fit. Oh, I've gone right off my fruit. I, which incidentally is why they refer to the male larynx as Adam's apple, with the notion that he choked on the apple, which of course is just a notion. But God took the punishment on Adam and Eve. He told Adam that the work of the thorns on the ground, in reference Genesis 3.18, Jesus took those thorns and he took them as a crown on his head, on the cross, for Adam's sin, Eve's sin, and my sin. And he took him because just like I said at the beginning of this vlog, I like that God is a God of judgment and justice. But then I have to realize that 
I also then deserve that punishment. Because I have messed up. Constantly have messed up. And then I must realise that actually there's only two people that can take my punishment. And, and that is me or Jesus. And for those that believe in him, Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. He took the sin and shame of us all and took it to the cross. But it gets better because he didn't just die there. Three days later, he rose there. He rose and he conquered the grave. He conquered death. God brought life into Adam. He breathed life into Adam. He breathed life into Jesus. He breathed life into me. He breathed life into you. God is the breath of life for all the judgments that we have, the sin. He pulled and took the punishment onto him so that we may ever have everlasting life. It starts now. It starts right now. May you be encouraged and remember how awesome our God is. Wishing you a great day.